way to start the video, huh? Welcome back to Cripple Mountain. You guys have begged, and you have pleaded, and you have been watching the playlist. So I thought that we'd come back and change things up a little bit. Hear my crows? Today I'm out scouting for an area for us to start building our camp and our shelter because I have been saying for over a year now I'm out here to rep for the handicapped and disabled in the survival game and in the woodcraft game and in the bushcraft game I think it's time we do that. We're going to start with the gear that you guys have sent and replace it with gear that we make as we go. It's an old scrape. Possibly earlier this year. Holy shit, look at this one. It's a little bit older too. I figured that it would be a great time to show you guys what we are starting this mountain man journey off with because the return to Cripple Mountain is going through a bit of a revamp. Uh, the majority of this has actually been through winnings and giveaways, but the guys that I won the giveaways at their channels are also subscribed to mine. My stainless steel triple beat tree water bottle. All right, so we're gonna have our food bag. Have our stainless steel water bottle. My fire kit, a Key Peak 9x7 tarp. A survival kit that I won from Waypoint Outdoor Adventures. I will link his channel in the description. It's got a wet weather fire starter, an emergency blanket, and a survival card with a lock pick, frog gigs, and arrowheads. So we'll definitely be giving some stuff on there a try. It's a right in the rain tablet inside of here. 100 foot section of paracord a vaunt headlamp that so there's my little folding saw fire a bit more gear than the average person being out here because i live with a spinal cord injury that injury has affected my bladder and my kidneys so i have to carry a med kit there's just no way around that um some people will i have asked and some people have said that if you're going to count it as gear some people have said to count it as gear. Some people have said not to count it as gear. So I'm going to let you make your own decision about that. I'm counting it as part of my gear because it's something that I have to carry. Catheter supply. This isn't enough to keep me out here for 48 hours at a time. But a hand soap and a camp towel because I need to be able to clean my hands. And hand sanitizer. Okay? Has to come out with me no matter what. I have added my first aid kit. I have added a pair of leather gloves. Anybody who has followed my channel for any any amount of time knows that I'm paranoid about my water and with my kidneys I have the right to be. So I added a water filter. My survival hiking staff um, will go until we either use the supplies in here or we break this thing. And then we'll have to make our own 
on the mountain. Inside of here I have a fishing kit, I have a couple band-aids, and I have a ferro rod. The most important tool that I have added is going to be my tomahawk. And I carry a tomahawk because it's a little bit lighter than an axe. Mine is a CRKT Woods Chogan that we're going to be using in this. came from a giveaway. It is a cheap $15 knife, really almost no different than a Mora. The Mora's might be a little bit better, but we're going to beat the hell out of this thing and see just how far it goes. Uh, this is a timber... I'll link it in the description so you guys can go check it out. It's like a wild steel timber wolf. It's our gear. That's what we are returning to the mountain with. That's all we're going to have. Anything else is going to have to be We'll have to make gear to replace things as they rip or break or wear out or are used. Um, and we will do so in a modern man, modern mountain man. We'll replace that gear in a modern mountain man fashion and we'll make it all, all on our own. Spot to make base camp, huh? So let's pack all this up and go find a spot to make base camp. We're going to make that work. We're going to get this creek flowing again. been out of the woods for way too long. I just missed it. Had to get out today. Left all of the home responsibilities at home. Getting hungry so I'm going to start a fire here and make some lunch even though it's nothing fancy and it's just a mountain house. I'm not ashamed to say I eat those things, they're not half bad. And they're really lightweight to carry. That's the seller for me. I'll show you guys how to boil in these triple tree bottles without them exploding on you. So I know the focus a lot lately has been on our homestead, but that's not, uh, we're not giving up on our outdoor content guys, so don't leave the channel yet. It's just been busy at home. And let's be totally honest, I do live a pretty unique lifestyle all the way around for somebody in my condition. Finally, huh?
All right, if you want to boil in these triple tree bottles, their caps have a gasket in it. Take that gasket out and you won't get a pressure lock. That'll cause it to blow up. Okay, and then just don't tighten your lid down all the way. Like, I tighten it all the way down, and then I come back another half turn so that your lid is on there loose. That's all you got to do. I did a crawfish boil in one of these bottles, and people freaked out. That's going to blow up on you. No, it's not. You do what you a little bit of common sense, just take the rubber gasket out of the cap. Don't screw your cap on all the way. It's kind of breaking our bottle in on our premiere of the return to Cripple Mountain. It's boiling now, I can see my stick moving. Today's is spicy Southwest style skillet. So yeah, it's uh, it's time for us to build our base camp. It's time for us to establish our shelter. Um, it's time for us to do what we set out to do with this channel. All right, we're going for it because I'm hungry. So yeah guys, we're going to live on Cripple Mountain, we're going to do it with subscriber only scent gear. As much as I like this spot, I don't know if we're going to make a camp here. We might pick somewhere else. The ground here is just saturated. And since I know you can hear the truck in the background, we are going to be doing this somewhat close to home. As most of you know, my wife is about to have a baby, so we need to stay fairly close to the house. Um, and it will allow me to get out here to work on this as I can. So, with it going to be a live streamed series... Uh, it's just gonna it's gonna work out the best for us so you'll hear the traffic noise but you'll also see what it takes to really build a uh, this isn't gonna necessarily be a survival shelter this is be something that could last long term I realize the nature of what we're doing and I realize that some people are going to want to send me things. I'm not asking for gear. I'm not telling you I need the gear. Because I don't. We're going to go out with what I have in that little pack. But... If somebody is so inclined and wants to send something, find my email listed below in the description and you can contact me there for where to send it. Because at the moment, we still have to set up a P.O. box and I'm not going to put my address out publicly. We will be building a trapper's camp but it's not going to be your traditional trapper's camp. This one's not bad, but it's a little spicy. The only thing I might ask you to send is food. 
because I eat all the time. And anytime somebody sends me something new, you'll see it in the next live stream. But I don't necessarily want you to send me stuff. I don't need it. I'll emphasize that. I'm not asking you to send me things. I don't need it. The live return to Cripple Mountain is going to kick off Saturday, November 14th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So Saturday, November 14th at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we'll kick off the live series. Well, we'll return to the live stream that's Cripple Mountain. We'll be streaming in 1080p. Um, and yeah, we'll start getting our shelter put up and our trap camp built. That is November 14th. That's tomorrow, the day after this show, this episode premieres. And I'll have a link to the live stream event in the description. It'll be the only link in the description. I'll see you guys there.